the making of television has become a lot cheaper. Uh, and that's because of the digital technology which is available to a lot more people. If you think about the early 90s, we were only just coming out of an age where actually people were editing on film and or editing on video and using video. What people could do in the 90s and the 90s onwards was start using digital technology to edit their pieces. And so people were putting more effects, um, using a lot more cuts. And what you noticed almost straight away is that television speeded up and has continued to speed up over the last 20 years. So if you watch something from the early 90s now, it will feel very slow. People have a shorter attention span these days. We're bombarded with lots of different information sources in a way that we weren't in the early 90s. And you sort of get that sort of machine gun approach to news and television. Okay, so the first question is, um, how has the 90s TV and film influenced what you do today? Uh, so, yeah, I guess, like, I, I grew up, like, watching... Well, I suppose I grew up watching, like, 80s films um, and 90s TV. And, uh, you know, because 80s films were always on TV while I was... Because it took a while for films to get through uh, and get onto TV, you know, it always took ages. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I guess there was a lot of 80s films when I was growing up, but um, 90s wise, I guess like my favorite films uh, on VHS were stuff like Hook and um, Wayne's World is one of my favorite films. Um, and I guess, how has that influenced me today? I suppose, well, I mean, they got me into films in the first place. You know, like the, the availability of, uh, you know, 90s films on VHS meant that me and my brother could watch them at home. We'd get a VHS for every Christmas. And one of the major ones was uh, Hook, you know, starring uh, Dustin Hoffman and uh, Robin Williams. Yeah. You got your change. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, have a single to buy hole, please. So, yeah, so uh, just getting me into films in the first place, I would say, um, was the biggest thing, I would say. Thank you. I got it. Okay, great. Um, and the next question is, um, how has 90s film affected film today? Uh... So I guess one of the big changes in the 90s was um, like the introduction of CGI. And there was like a transition, I think, in the 90s. In the, in the 80s, which is something I love about 80s films is um, you've got all of these practical visual effects. Sorry, practical special effects. You know, there's very little um, computer work going on in 80s films. And that's something you know, I still enjoy today. Throughout the 90s, yes, you got like this introduction of uh, visual effects, you know, digital CGI and that sort of thing. And you've actually got like some really sketchy examples of that. Something like uh, Lawnmower Man would be a really good example of like uh, early 90s films with, uh, with a lot of visual effects. Some of which kind of really suit the film and look fantastic. Some of which, like a man on fire with completely CGI fire, looks absolutely dreadful. So I guess like the 90s was the sort of transition period of, um, you know, uh, practical special effects to, to visual effects. And I think that is that's something we see today is a lot more sort of visual effects. But then you've also got films these days that, that um, put the two together really well, uh, such as Pan's Labyrinth, for example, that uses special effects and visual effects to, to great use. For example, like the frog in that is like a practical, actual frog puppet, but then its tongue is CGI. Whereas, you know, in the 80s, possibly some 90s films, you know, the tongue would be, um, you know, uh, a model as well and arguably might not work as well. So, yeah, I'd say, you know, effects has made a big difference. That's uh, great. Yeah. Yeah, thank cool. you. Um, <laughs> and uh, then the next question is, how has 90s TV affected TV today? 90s TV, let me think. So, like, when I think of 90s TV, I think of, um, 
uh, like Saved by the Bell, <laughs> and like I used to love this show called Heartbreak High, which is like an Australian thing. It was kind of like um, uh, it's kind of like I mean it was kind of like a soap, I guess, but serious and more realistic. And it was set in this high school, and I I thought that was really really great. It was kind of like Saved by the Bell, but like serious, and had actual proper drama in it and stuff, and it was really, really relatable. So, yeah, I don't know if there's anything like that today. I suppose, yeah, I mean, you see a lot more TV today. I mean, yeah, Heartbreak High, I guess, maybe started something a, a bit more more dramatic. Uh, yeah, that was a really good show. But these days you get a lot more TV than you did in the 90s. Like in the 90s, you you just had your four channels. Uh, but now it's kind of insane. You've got like Netflix and Sky and, you know, there's just a huge, huge difference today. To the amount of TV and the amount of people consuming TV. So, I don't know, I guess in the 90s you, you still had like serial shows, but you didn't really have, you know, cinema was actually considered a lot better than TV. Uh, yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> okay, great. Just two more questions left. Um, great. Okay, so then, uh, what was the most defining film or TV series for you in the 90s? The most defining film or TV? I mean, it's gonna, um, for me, like, it has to be Wayne's World. Uh, you know, that that just... I mean, it kind of, it definitely sort of covers a sort of um, era that's sort of late 80s, early 90s of rock. But it's it's like a comedy film that really, I think, set the tone for a lot of comedy films to follow. Uh, Because, yeah, that film was like 92. And even the early sort of early early noise, you've got a lot of, um, you know, comedy films, I think, that were inspired by that. But, yeah, whenever I think of the 90s, I always think of, Wayne's World. Um, yeah, the sequel's pretty great, too. Uh, yeah, it's actually a really strong example of a, of a sequel. TV-wise, yeah, I still think Heartbreak High was, like, my favourite favorite 90s TV show. So I would, I would go for those two. Okay, great. Um, and then last question is, what was 90s culture like for you? Uh, 90s culture was like, <laughs> so it's kind of like, I remember we would like wear football shirts. So you'd wear the shirt of your favorite team, like Adidas tracksuit bottoms with like poppers. We used to like have sticker books. So yeah, like I guess like football, I mean, even though I'm not really into football, but like the Premier League sort of kicked off in a big way and we used to have these massive sticker books and swap stickers and stuff. Um, we used to wear like shag bands like around our wrists. Uh, it was like bright colours, sweets, uh, <laughs> like unhealthy food. Uh, what else do I remember? Video games. Definitely like Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario and like Sega versus... Nintendo, uh, yeah, it was good. I think, yeah, that's all the things. Our Spice Girls as well, that was pretty huge. So all of these things, like, definitely remind me of the 90s. And, yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, great. That's all the questions. Thank you so, so much for Wonderful. doing Wonderful, no problem at all. No, it's a pleasure. Yeah. It's really fun. I love okay. the 90s, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>